Welcome to this short video introducing you to the safe and successful use of the MSHA listed touch and seal mine ventilation control system. In just a few minutes, you'll cover a number of key topics, including safety, assembly, application, and more. In the future, should you need to review specific content, use the time codes in this table of contents to scroll ahead to that topic. Now let's get started. Touch and seal mine foam is used for controlling mine ventilation by sealing air leaks in and around metal, wood, and concrete, seals, stoppings, and overcasts. It also provides sound and thermal insulation. It cures quickly for a strong bond on a wide range of surfaces and temperatures, including bratis cloth. Touch and seal mine foam comes in a water-resistant, heavy-duty, wax-coated carton, making it ideal for use in mines. The mine foam system is fire retardant and meets or exceeds all MSHA specifications. As with any mining activity, safety is top priority. Touch and seal mine foam uses pressurized spray polyurethane foam, requiring only a few simple safety precautions. Always wear safety glasses or goggles, gloves, long sleeves, and pants for full body coverage and provide adequate ventilation in compliance with MSHA regulations. Before assembling the kit, put on your safety glasses and gloves. Now, we'll look inside the touch and seal package. First, tear out the rip and go panel to access the handle. You can now carry the unit to the worksite. The Mine Foam two component system comes complete with everything you need to get the job done. Two canisters of the Mine Foam chemicals in a wax coated box, a 10 foot hose, pre-assembled spray foam applicator, an accessory pack containing a pair of gloves, a wrench, a packet of O-ring lubricant, two fan nozzles and eight conical nozzles, a safety sheet, and an instruction manual. To assemble, open the top of the carton and remove the spray foam applicator hose assembly, the accessory bag, and the operating instructions. Lay the chemical hoses in the carton notches as shown. Make sure the spray foam applicator safety is locked to prevent accidental discharge. Then, turn the dial on each canister counterclockwise three turns. This allows the chemical to flow into the hoses. Now, close the carton top. Next, prepare the spray foam applicator hose assembly by purging the lines to ensure the proper mixture of the mine foam chemicals. The chemicals are visible through the chemical hoses. Aim the spray foam applicator without attaching a nozzle towards a safe spot away from people or equipment and disengage the safety lever. Depress the trigger until you get two roughly equal streams of chemicals. That means the lines are purged and the chemicals are ready to use. Re-engage the spray foam applicator safety lever and attach the nozzle with a quarter turn. Although the spray foam applicators are pre-lubricated, you can also apply the enclosed lubricant to the O-ring, like this. Start by turning off the safety on the spray foam applicator. Hold the spray foam applicator with the nozzle 24 inches or less from the surface being sealed, as mandated by MSHA. Squeeze the trigger and use steady, even strokes to apply a thin layer of mine foam to the surface being sealed. Apply about a half inch thickness. As you can see, mine foam expands a lot. For best results, apply thin layers of foam rather than one thick one. This will allow you to get maximum yield from each container. You can use the spray foam applicator to control the volume of foam being sprayed, and the spray foam applicator swivels during use to reduce stress on the operator. Mine foam cures quickly, so check for hardened material in the nozzle every time you use your kit. Be sure to clean the spray foam applicator barrel and replace a clogged mixing nozzle before continuing. And if you stop for more than 30 seconds, replace the mixing nozzle. To get the full 200 board foot coverage specified by the Mine Foam Ventilation Kit, be sure to keep the package upright during use and storage. 
be sure to also keep the canisters inside the carton to comply with MSHA regulations. Store mine foam in a warm MSHA approved storage location. For best results, the recommended temperature of the chemical is 70 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Chemical temperatures below that may begin to affect curing times, A and B component ratio mix, and other properties. To store the mine foam kit for later use, turn off all chemical valves, clean the spray foam applicator barrel, keep the clog nozzle attached, and set the spray foam applicator safety. If you'll be saving a partially used mine foam ventilation kit for more than a week, be sure to purge the spray foam applicator hose assembly to repressurize them every week and keep the material fresh with minimal loss. For more information or technical assistance on Touch and Seal Mine Foam Ventilation Control System, call this number or visit our website. Thanks for watching.